Hello everyone, so welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for anyone that's liked any of the videos or commented on the videos or subscribed. Really, really appreciate it. Today I'm doing a book tag. This is a tag I've been tagged in personally. So this is originally created by Michael Romeo Talks Books. It's a lovely channel. Please check out Michael's channel. It's really good and he's um, really uh, quite sort of idiosyncratic and personal with the books he loves. And it's just really awesome watching him talk about uh, what he's been reading. And he's created this tag based around his love of Lady Gaga. So I actually think Lady Gaga's pretty cool myself. And uh, I've always kind of had a sort of distant appreciation of her. Not necessarily listen to loads of her albums or anything. I've always liked her singles. But I was so impressed with her performance in The Star Is Born and the song she wrote for it. I just think that film is so good. So um, that's definitely my favourite thing that she's done. But this is a really nice tag that's based around the album titles of her discography. So um, thanks again, Michael, for tagging me. And here we go. I'm going to put up the book uh, covers here as I talk about them. So six prompts. The first prompt is uh, from is based around the first two albums she did, which one was called The Fame and one was called The Fame Monster. And it's uh, a name of book with fame as its theme. So I'm picking uh, We'll Save the Galaxy for Food by Yahtzee Croshaw. So I really like Yahtzee Croshaw. I've, I've championed him a few times on the channel. And this is probably my favourite book by him. It's really well paced, very fast paced. It's very funny, witty. It's about a man over his head who thinks he can con everything, everyone that he meets. And he ends up, because he thinks he can benefit from it, he ends up taking, uh, like pretending to be, impersonating a famous um, character that's been used in sort of fictionalized books about these exploits of this space pilot called um, Jack McEwen. So he pretends to be Jack McEwen, and it can it and it basically creates this sort of farcical consequences from his uh, disguise that he thought he could benefit from. It just gets really complicated. It's really it's great. So. We'll Save the Galaxy for Food is my choice for the first prompt. The second prompt is a book that features a character with a challenging situation. Um, so um, that's based on the second, well, the album that came out after the fame and the fame monster. So for this one, I'm picking The Blade Itself, and in particular, a character called Glockter, who is a cripple, and he's become a cripple through uh, a life life. Uh, lifelong career as a swordsman for the king's guard and then he gets captured and tortured and that torture has resulted in becoming a cripple and it's like he his character is changed through that experience of being tortured and he's a point of view character in the book the blade itself he's quite an important character in in the book and it kind of develops from there but a really interesting character very multifaceted character and someone who's uh, physical issues come from this life of conflict that he's had before that. So, interesting perspective in the book. Um, the next one is the third prompt, which is Art Pop. And it's name a book with art or an artist as the focus. So I'm going to choose a book that I've, again, I've talked about this before. This is a book that uh, I, I've only recently discovered it. And the the author slash illustrator it's Will McPhail and the book's In it's a really good book it's a kind of it's got an autobiographical feel about it it seems very real and it's kind of Will McPhail's thoughts about relationships about career expectations relationships in family and the character is a cartoonist like Will McPhail is obviously so it's a graphic novel with a really good heart to its centre and it's funny it's just really well written so in from Will McPhail um, the prompt number four is a is a duet is basically Lady Gaga did t two duet albums with Tony Bennett so name a book with two authors that teamed up to write it so for that I haven't got that many uh, examples actually but the one that I really, really love that I need to carry on with the series, for some reason I've kind of stalled on the first one, but I loved it, which was Leviathan Wakes. This one here is very famous, but they're written by... So that, that name's a pseudonym, and it's two different authors 
that have teamed together to write this series. And uh, obviously known as the Expanse series. And uh, some people think that the first one is the best one. Um, and some people think like the second or the fourth one or something is the best one. But I need to carry on reading the series. But I really love that first book, The Earth and Wakes. The fifth prompt is the album called Joanne. And it's basically you name a book with uh, a good relationship in it or one of your favourite relationships. So I'm going to pick Strange Weather in Tokyo. So uh, this is a really interesting novel. Uh, I read this, it's a very short novel, but it's really good. And I was taking a chance on the author, hadn't heard of her before, but I was intrigued. And now I've read uh, two of her books and I've got a third one to read very soon. I think this is a really interesting book. It's about a relationship between a, um, a woman in her 30s who meets up with her old teacher. Um, I think he's in his 60s. And it's like they eventually kind of start this romantic relationship. But what's just really interesting is it's a really unusual relationship because the, the parameters that are established when they were younger is kind of still there. And he still kind of treats her a little bit like he's tutoring her. Um, in life and it's just really interesting it's really good so Strange Weather in Tokyo definitely recommend it and the sixth prompt is from the album Chromatica which is about mental illness and the prompt is what book deals with mental illness so I'm picking this book by Celeste Eng which is Everything I Never Told You it's a really good book really good book it's a, I remember when I read it I thought it might be a bit of a mystery because I knew it was about um a death in a family and I thought it was going to be an exploration uh, into how uh, into why it happened but it's a lot more than that it's a really deep complex book and it's about the relationships in the family it is about her relationships with everyone in the family the, the character that died but it's it's really at the, at the center of it is a very deep unhappiness it's it's about depression it's about feeling unconnected disconnected it's about not belonging it's about every member of that family has got issues with their own sense of where they are in the family and how they relate to the others in the family it's a really well written book and, and there's lots of different angles to it lots of different sides to the narrative so everything I never told you by Celeste Eng is my choice for that one so there we are so that's um, my Lady Gaga book tag. I don't know if these people have done it, but I'm going to tag uh, Michael Cummins, um, Jax from Spread Book Joy, uh, Courtney from Tangible Reads, and MJ from Reading This Life. There we go. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.